in the studio with me now. This time of year is really wonderful. We get an opportunity to hear a lot of different music, but for me, one of the best things we can do is hear it live. With me today to talk about the Fine Arts Program at Trinity Classical Academy, I have Jennifer Brown, who's here. She's the handbell director. This is one of the only handbell and chimes uh, choirs here in the Santa Clarita Valley. Jennifer, this is very exciting. How did you come to be the handbell person? How did handbells come into your life? Well, uh, Trinity happened to have two octaves. That's about uh, 18 uh, bells. And when we were developing the electives for the upper school students at Trinity, we thought it'd be really neat to be able to utilize this really unique uh, instrument and so we talked to some of our students and we uh, gathered four originally and played on the floor and uh, came up with a fabulous song that we were able to perform for the school they loved it the students love learning about music through this medium and so we decided to expand the program and uh, we now have a set of five octaves at Trinity and we use it to perform in the community uh, certainly within our school and be able to teach them about music theory and the musicianship and use this beautiful um instrument that is just so unique. I love that. And I love the, the bells when they're recorded, but there's nothing like having them live. It just vibrates every bone in your body. It's it so does. exciting. With you today, you've brought Shelby Swartz. Swartz? How do you pronounce that, Shelby? Swartz. Swartz, okay. <laughs> Shelby Swartz, who's a senior. You've been in the Trinity Bell Ensemble for four years. Yes. And Maddie Froming? Fremming. Fremming, nice to meet you. You've been uh, four years also, you're a senior in the Trinity Bell Ensemble, and I we're going to hear from the two of you in just a little bit. I'm super excited about having the bells here in the studio, so I, I want to talk to you a little bit more about that. But Jennifer, um, as as handbell director and and also the chimes choirs that, that you direct, you're also a music therapist for a very interesting program. Can you tell me a little bit about Imago Day Music therapy? Sure. Well, at Trinity, we have a school called Imago Day, and they are the special needs um, part of our school that Trinity has embraced so that we can help um, our learners that need a different way of learning to be able to process information. And uh, so we have a specific curriculum developed to help um, these precious children. Part of the curriculum is that we offer music therapy for their students. Music takes a different pathway through the brain. And so when we have the opportunity uh, twice a week, uh, we have music therapy. And what I'm doing is using music as the tool to help whether it's physically emotionally um, but but music is my tool and mm -hmm. so there's goals and objectives through all of our activities that are helping these students be able to work on their social skills their cognitive skills um, and uh, their expressive language but again we're using music as the tool so they're specifically designed activities to help them with that I love that what is the overall mission would you say of the fine arts department at Trinity I mean I love that you have this very specific sure. program for your special needs with the Imago Day music therapy what what would be the overall mission of a of, of fine arts department for you well, thankfully, Trinity Classical Academy understands the value of the fine arts. And so we want to make sure that all of our students, TK, uh, transitional kindergarten, all the way up through our seniors, have an opportunity to have the arts as part of their lives. Which is nice because so many schools have cut the budget for fine arts. And it's tr truly limited. Sadly. So how and you and you have a lot of unique fine arts so tell me a bit about the the un, in addition to what you what you've talked about how what are what are your other um, wh what kind of uh, what kind of arts have you brought in and what's different in the classical Christian school with your art, fine arts? Sure. So what we do is we provide um, music classes and art classes for all of our grammar school students. So TK through sixth grade, everybody has art class nice. and music class. Nice. But what we do in the classical tradition is that we're not just teaching them about music notes or about Van Gogh. What we're doing is we are corresponding with whatever their learning 
in their classrooms, we are taking that and learning the same subjects in music and art. For instance, our fourth graders at Trinity study the Renaissance era. So when they are studying the Renaissance time period in fourth grade, when they come to music class, we will now be studying the nice. fourth grade, the, the Renaissance composers and, and what kind of music they performed and wrote then. In mm -hmm. art class, they go and, and study the Renaissance painters. And so it's a, a, um, just a whole... Oh, it's a Rosetta Stone so that when they go to think back, that's something that's going to trigger possibly what they've already learned. Exactly. Now, yeah. you guys have a uh, December 17th Christmas concert coming yes. up, a very traditional Christmas celebration. And I love that you, this is something, this ensemble, this is like working in an orchestra, but they're all playing the same thing. You know, yes. it's, it's interesting when it's, a, when it's an orchestra, you know, the strings have their certain regimen That's and right. every the horns have something else everyone's very egalitarian everyone's playing the same thing how do you how do you feel this type of ensemble type of uh, performance teaches music and working together and tell me a little about your thoughts on that sure well we're really excited about our upcoming performance on the 17th um, the first half of the program will be all of our performing arts um, ensembles at Trinity that includes the orchestra it includes um, our choirs that are part of our logic school our seventh and eighth grade as well as our rhetoric school yes. and that is ninth through twelfth grade choirs we have a small strings ensemble our chimes will be playing and our handbells that's the first half of the program and the second half is when 300 students will get onto stage and be wow. giving a presentation it's called back to the manger and there will be acting sixth grade actors telling the story of Christ's birth and then the three 300 students, all first grade through sixth grade, singing praises to God oh, as wonderful. part of this. So. Hey, if someone wants to come to see this, how do how do they how can they, can they? Oh, we would <laughs> love to have them. All the information is on our website at www.trinityclassicalacademy.com. The time of the show, which is at 6:30, the address of the school. We'd love to be able to Excellent. share Christ's birth uh, in this way. All right. Well, Shelby and Maddie, I understand you are going to play a little something. I'd like to ask Shelby, how'd you come to the bell? And is there other music in your life? Well, Bells started when I was in junior high with Maddie, and um, Mrs. Brown was coming and looking for people to come play it in the new handbell choir. And at first, I was actually wanting to do the theater elective, but then Maddie convinced me uh -huh. <laughs> to actually join Bells as well. There's so. always a best friend that comes dragging you in. Now, Maddie, yes. was there music in your life before? How did you come to the Bells? You just you heard the announcement and said, oh, yeah, I want to be a part of that. Um, well, actually, I'd taken piano lessons before, but not for a couple years, and um, I originally thought I was signing up for a singing group, <laughs> and then I showed well, up. There's and always Mrs. that. Wait a minute. That, there are bells here. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Brown changed it because there only four people signed up, um, and one of the girls left, so I got Shelby to join. And Very nice. Only I, four of us. I love that she sort of roped you into that, and yeah. so now uh, you, you have a, a group oh, there. Man. All right, we're going to take a moment and listen to Shelby Swartz and Maddie Freming, who's he, they're here from Trinity Classical Academy. They will be part of the Christmas concert taking place December 17th. And again, tell me, uh, Jennifer, where they can find that information. The website is? Sure, www.trinityclassicalacademy.com. All right, Shelby and Maddie, take it away. I know, I'm very intimidating. I'm totally staring you down, and you're doing this live on the air for a very large well, audience. And honestly, and it's they stressful. just figured that out about 10 minutes before we arrived. So oh. it's a technique called four in hand, where they put two bells in one hand, and being able to just naturally hear and figure out what the tune to Jingle Bells so that we could play something. Our ensemble has 18, nine kids in uh, students that are part of this group. And so it's hard, you know, 
if, no, they if, did an awesome you know, job. Don't apologize. You guys did I, great. That was it was wonderful to watch technique. you thinking yep. as you great were going job, through girls. that. Again, Good Trinity job. Classical Academy holding their Christmas concert December 17th. Stay here. We're going to do a little bit of business.